What is going on my friends? Hank here from Spruce and Brews Scale Modeling and in this video I'm going to show you a cheap and easy way to create super detailed cockpits for your scale model aircraft. This was my first time using Kinta Studio's 3D decals and I think these are going to be my new go-to for all my cockpit work go forward. I just liked them that much. I'm going to be demoing this product on the new 135 scale border model BF109, but they've got these sets available for hundreds of aircraft from 172nd, 148, and 132nd scale as well, so this will be a general tutorial for the basics of how to use these awesome little decals. First things first, we need to build up the basic structure of our cockpit, as per usual, following with the regular kit instruction booklet. The only thing we need to watch out for here are the pieces called out in the Kinta instructions marked with an asterisk. These pieces have 3D molding, and since the decals themselves are 3D, we need to sand these down to give the decal a smooth surface to sit on. So for example, this instrument panel needs to be sanded down, so I'm going to use my handy nail file here and just go to town on it. This takes a little bit of patience, but it gets the job done nicely. Here you can see I've knocked all that 3D detail down, so the piece will be ready to receive the 3D decal in just a bit. Once everything is sanded and assembled, we're going to move on to painting. I'm going to leave the floor of the cockpit separate from the instrument panel section for now so we have a little more room to work with our decals. Be sure to build up your side walls as well, since these will also be receiving decals. We're going to do a very simple paint job here. First, we're going to prime everything with a coat of Vallejo Flat Black, and then we're going to go back and hit everything with a coat of Dunkelgrau, since this is a German aircraft, of course. Next, we'll want to paint up any of the little interior details that need attention, like the control stick and some of the knobs and levers that aren't going to be covered by decals later on. Once all those parts are primed up, I like to give the interior a quick dry brushing of Vallejo white aluminum to give it a bit of a used weathered look and create a little interest in there. With dry brushing complete, we can spray everything with a clear coat of AK Interactive Gauzy Agent before moving on to a quick pin wash. I'm using Ammo MIG Dark Wash here to help accentuate our mold details and cleaning up any of the excess with some Ammo Odorless Enamel Thinner to make sure everything settles into the nooks and crannies of the cockpit. After that's dry, we can spray everything with a second coat of AK Gauzy Agent to seal that in, and then it's finally time to move on to decals. Now these 3D decals behave just like regular water slide decals that come with pretty much any kit. The only thing they need is a little extra adhesive since they're so thick. I take a tiny bit of Elmer's PVA glue on the end of a toothpick and apply it to the area where the decal is going to go down. You don't need very much of it at all for this to help out. Once the glue is on there, we can gently slide our decal into place. These take just a few minutes to dry and right off the bat are giving us such a nice upgrade to the cockpit detailing that comes stock with the kit. I was thoroughly impressed with how easy these were to work with, you just let them soak in your water bowl for a few seconds and they're ready to go. These are also quite a bit thicker than regular water slide decals, so you don't have to worry about them tearing on you while you maneuver them into place. The instrument panel is one of the places where these decals really shine. The level of detail here is absolutely phenomenal and saves you a ton of painting work or having to wiggle regular decals around plastic molded parts. This kit had a few little toggles that needed to be placed on top of the main instrument panel decal, and for those, a little tiny dot of super glue can be helpful. You can apply this the same way we did with the Elmers using a toothpick. 
Here you can see I've applied the cockpit floor decals as well. The rudder pedal straps are the trickiest here, but a little super glue helped get the job done. Now moving on to the other star of this set, the seatbelts. The best way I found to apply these was one segment at a time. Each belt is made up of three or four pieces, so I would just lay one down with a little PVA glue, let it dry, and then move on to the next piece. They take a little finagling, but since the decals are so sturdy, you don't have to worry about them tearing on you. I really love how thick these look. They actually look like real fabric, which is such a nice upgrade over the seatbelt decals that usually come with kits. They're also pre-painted, so unlike photo etch seatbelts, you don't have to worry about all the detail painting here. Once the decals are all in place and have dried fully, you can spray everything with a clear matte coat to knock down some of the shine and protect all of your hard work. Once that's done, all that's left is to assemble the parts and boom, you've got yourself a highly detailed cockpit for your scale model aircraft in almost no time at all. If you'd like to pick up a set of Kinta 3D decals for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below for their full assortment on sprubrothers.com. I'll also have links to all the other products I use today in the description below if you'd like to check them out as well. And if you'd like to see how I built and painted up this DB605 engine, I'll have a link to the full tutorial on that in just a second. So thanks for watching my friends. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more scale modeling content. And until next time my friends, be well, happy building, Cheers.